live from downtown Detroit, home of WDIV and Click on Detroit. Local 4 News at noon starts now. It is a big day for the people of Flint and specifically those impacted by the ongoing water crisis. I'm Hank Winchester. Help me, Hank. I'll show you what help is now on the way. But first, coronavirus infections are surging, driven by the highly contagious Omicron variant. What the experts have to say. And the coronavirus does top our news this noon. We are expecting our next Michigan coronavirus data update later this afternoon. Meantime, the White House COVID response team is meeting right now to talk about the pandemic. Here is some of what they have to say. While we are seeing early evidence that Omicron is less severe than Delta and that those infected are less likely to require hospitalization, it's important to note that Omicron continues to be much more transmissible than Delta. As you've heard me say before, we know what works against COVID-19. This means getting vaccinated and getting boosted, wearing a mask in public indoor settings in areas of high transmission, and currently that's over 99% of our counties and testing before you gather with others. As Omicron variant spreads across the United States, experts say it's likely that just about everybody will be exposed to the strain, but vaccinated people will still fare better. This comes as we are learning the Omicron variant accounts for 98.3% of new coronavirus cases with the new infections and hospitalization rates shattering pandemic records. Many are asking, is it time for Americans to upgrade their masks as well? There's been some talk about this. Here's Tom Costello with more. Overnight, new data showing the highly contagious Omicron variant now makes up almost all new COVID cases in the U.S., a staggering 98 percent. It happened at lightning speed, too, spreading in just over one month. With COVID cases surging and hospitalizations hitting all-time highs, the CDC is now considering whether to update its own mask guidance, potentially recommending Americans choose higher quality options, like N95s or the Chinese-made KN95. They are really, really tight fitting and they, and they help filter out very small airborne droplets of COVID. The typical surgical mask provides decent protection, but doesn't seal tightly around the nose and mouth. The Biden administration also taking a big step to keep kids in school, announcing this morning it will hand out 5 million rapid COVID tests and another 5 million lab-based PCR tests to schools nationwide every month for free. Meanwhile, the nation's top health officials faced a grilling on Capitol Hill. Tuesday's testimony punctuated by this very concerning message. Most people are going to get COVID. The experts were blasted over their mixed messaging and criticized for their confusing changes in guidelines. The American people are right to be confused. It seems like you all don't talk amongst yourself. Lawmakers also demanded answers over the critical test shortage. Our frustrated constituents cannot find rapid tests. A contentious hearing that turned personal at times. You are totally incorrect. Dr. Fauci clashing with Republican Senator Roger Marshall and later heard on a hot mic. What a moron. Jesus Christ. Senator Rand Paul and Fauci also sparring again. You're not an objective scientist. You, you've lost that long ago. Fauci accused a Kentucky Republican of putting him, Fauci, in danger, citing a case last month of an armed man arrested with a hit list. The police asked him where he was going, and he was going to Washington, D.C. to kill Dr. Fauci. That was Tom Costello reporting back to the mask topic. New research says that face masks reduce the distance that airborne pathogens can travel by more than 50%. Scientists from the University of Central Florida measured the distance that droplets and aerosols travel from people when wearing different types of masks. And when not, each participant recited a phrase and simulated a cough for five minutes without a face covering, with a cloth face covering, and with a three-layered surgical mask. The results? A cloth face covering reduced emissions to about two feet compared to the four feet of emissions produced when coughing or speaking with no mask on. The reduction was even greater when wearing the surgical mask. 
and saying with COVID, it was the leading cause of death among law enforcement officers in 2021. That's according to a new report from the National Law Enforcement Memorial Fund. The report showed a total of 458 line of duty deaths last year which is a 55% increase from 2020 and the deadliest year for law enforcement since 1930. COVID-19 claimed the lives of 301 U.S. officers last year alone. If prices seem high to you, you're right. Inflation hit a 39 year high. Today, the Consumer Price Index reported that inflation jumped 7% in 12 months ending in December. That's the steepest climb in prices since June of 1982. It was also a faster rate of increase than November's 6.8% and higher than economists predicted. The Federal Reserve plans to multiple interest rates hikes this year to help fight inflation. The spike comes amid a shortage of goods and workers due to the coronavirus and on the heels of unprecedented cash flowing through the economy from Congress and the Federal Reserve. Starting today, thousands of people in Flint can begin filing damage claims as part of that $626 million settlement of civil lawsuits in the Flint water crisis. So how do you claim your money if you were impacted? Here's Hank Winchester with a closer look. This money, the settlement deal, more than $600 million, it has the opportunity to change lives in Flint once and for all. Today begins the claim process, a chance for those impacted by the water crisis to get the money they deserve. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel saying the opening of the claims period marks an important part of the settlement process and one step closer to providing monetary relief to those who have endured unimaginable hardship. The total settlement, almost $650 million. 80% of that money will go to children and programs for children impacted. Adults and even business losses will get the remaining money. You can file online or by mail, and a hotline has been established for those who need help or have questions. The Flint saga, as you may remember, started back in 2014. Then city leaders made the switch to Flint River water. Soon after that switch, people complained that the water tasted and smelled funny. It looked off. Well, they were right. The water was contaminated with lead. It was toxic. And while the source of the water Water was eventually changed, the damage had already been done. Today, many in Flint still rely on bottled water, and the pipe replacement project does move forward, but has been impacted by COVID. I'm continuing to follow this story throughout the day. I'm going to have much more information about how this money is going to be split up and shared with those impacted by this crisis. I'll have more coverage today, beginning at 5 o'clock. I'm Hank Winchester. Help me, Hank, Local 4. All right, Hank, thank you. Also today, the accused Oxford High School shooter is expected in court. The 15 year old was bound over for trial last week and is scheduled to be arraigned in Oakland County Circuit Court. He faces first degree murder and terrorism charges for allegedly opening fire at Oxford High School, killing four students and injuring seven others. We want to turn our attention now to the forecast as we take a live look outside with that cloud deck in full swing there from our sky cam, but it's not as bitterly cold as it was yesterday. So at least we have that, Brandon. Rhonda, we already have 40 Grozeal and near 40 degrees at City Airport. It's 38 over in Ann Arbor. And if you're thinking, how does this compare to yesterday? Well, on average, we're about 20 degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday. Warmest of the week, also tracking a little trouble, little wintry mix in snow. Rhonda, I'll have more on the timing, what to expect before the bitter cold returns. All right, Brandon, thank you. Still to come, the pressure. The pressure is on for Democrats to pass federal voting rights legislation. What is planned in the nation's capital to get the ball rolling?